Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the career mode, and as you guys can see, we are stood outside of our garage. Now, what we're going to do today is we are going to research wheels, and we're going to build a tow truck style thing. So, uh, hopefully we can do this. Obviously, I'm in uh, classic career mode, so we don't quite have everything. But, um, yeah, let's go to the map straight away. Go ahead and research some wheels, and, uh... Yeah, let's let's see what happens here. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. That is the first thing that we're going to do. Uh, in order to actually research things, obviously you've got to sleep through the amount of time that it takes to research. So we're going to get a bunch of missions. At the same time as that, we're actually going to go to... Oh, there we go. That was quick. That was actually really fast. So apparently... There is... Wait, is this it? An old wagon has an emergency. That could be our first land vehicle mission. Let's go to sleep one more time. Uh, so we can make it daytime. And then I think we'll build a car. I, I guess. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do this. Alright, so I was thinking that uh, we might have some issues here. Because I'm not sure every vehicle in the game can actually be towed, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if every vehicle in the game actually has... Uh, rope anchors or anything like that but um yeah let's just go ahead and start building and see what we can actually come up with so we're gonna go with an electric car to begin with hopefully we can build as many like hopefully we could put quite a few batteries on it uh in order for this to work i'm sure we can so let's do this on both sides we'll extend it so that it's actually quite long there we go there we go excellent we're then going to bring it out by a few on each side and a few on each side and then we're going to go with 555 wheels with suspension. There we go. We might actually be too big here. Let's make it slightly smaller, in fact. So we're going to go backwards to here. Delete these guys. Delete those guys. All right. Delete these guys as well. Uh, and what we should be able to do is actually go to the wheels and put them directly on there. And I think that's wide enough. However, still think it's too big. There we go. We're going to have quite a small wheelbase. I think this will be interesting. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and extend this out beyond the wheels. There we go, excellent. Uh, I want to also actually bring this out over here, bring it over the top, and bring it over these uh, in order to actually add wheel, like, mud guards, I guess. So that's what their job is right there. That seems fine. We're going to go ahead and attach that to there, and then we're going to go ahead and do this coming back over, and that is awesome. That might actually be too high. I kind of want to add it down here instead. So we're going to actually bring this out twice. Yeah, that might be pretty strange, but we're going to do it uh, twice to there, and that should be fine. Excellent. We're then going to build this directly back to there, and yeah, pretty weird, but I think it'll work. All right, we got this. Uh, we're then going to go forwards by two on this bit, forwards by two on this bit, and then bring this downwards, obviously like this, like that, and then the same thing on these guys as well. One, two, one, two. Excellent. We're then going to do pretty much the exact same thing on the back, so let's get to it. Actually, now that that's been said, what I want to do is actually bring these guys backwards uh, to more like there instead. That seems good. All right, attach these get guys together with this. Go ahead and merge this directly on with there. There we go. Awesome. And honestly, I kind of want a bit of this inside of the car. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting to see what happens. But what we're going to do first is build these guys into here like this. Go upwards, obviously. Uh, we're going to go across, all the way across to there. Delete these guys and these guys and start with these. Way there we go. That's pretty good. There we go. So that's going to go in there like that. We're then going to whack that on. Oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and whack that on there like, actually, we don't need to. This bit's going to be inside the car. That's going to be very weird, but it is. So there you go. That's going to go there. Uh, we're then obviously going to do the bits over the top again, as we did on the other bits. So that's going to go there. We're going to build the inside bit, and then it's going to go there again. And that should be fine. Now, it is worth saying, I'm not very good at building land vehicles. Okay? I'm not very good at building land vehicles. So, this is kind of an interesting uh, thing to be doing, trying to build a land vehicle. But hopefully we can build something nice. And hopefully we can build something that works, maybe. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and extend this forwards like so. We're then going to bring this down and do a bit of a buffer thing right here. And then what we'll do is actually start adding a bit of a bumper to the front end. Hopefully making it look nice as well as, um, yeah, well that's it. I want it to look nice. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys on here. 
Uh, we're then going to have a bonnet uh, over the front end, obviously. So let's go ahead and delete this guy. Go ahead and whack this under here like so. And then I think we should be able to get away with doing this. There we go. Straight across the top like that. Um, maybe. I mean, maybe not as well. I don't know. We'll put that there like that. That seems fine. Um, we'll have a bit of a flat bit right in the middle. And that is kind of cool, I guess. That works. Uh, let's go ahead and whack this under here. Go ahead and build this in across the front. Um, we're going to build this in across here and here and here. And we're going to fill in this bit at the front as well. Just like that. There we go. Okay, kind of cool so far. Maybe, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, I kind of like it. That works. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and go build across here like this. It's fine to do that, I do believe. We're then going to build this backwards and fill in these little sections. There we go. We're going to add a single seat in the middle. That is going to be our driver's seat right there in the center. And that is where we're going to drive the vehicle from. All right, that's pretty weird, but I think it'll work. In fact, let's raise it up a bit. There we go. Smash that directly into there. Let's go ahead and spawn it in, see what it looks like. Yeah, this could work. This could be awesome. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then let's continue, shall we? All right. So the flat sides are going to be flat, as you guys can see right here. It's beginning to look a little bit like a World War II German uh, amphibious thing. I can't remember what they were called, but yeah. Um, it looks a bit like one of those, which is slightly strange. But yeah, if we bring this backwards... We can, we can do something. I mean, I, I'm i not very good at building these to make them look nice. So, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what we do. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this on this bit like so. We're actually going to delete those and have it go flat to the end. Which means we're actually going to bring this forwards. Kind of like, kind of like this. There you go. We're going to do this bit backwards. Uh, using these guys, because I think we can. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and whack that onto there. Excellent, that seems fine. And then in the top, we're going to go ahead and do this guy and send that backwards like this. Alright, pretty weird looking, but I think it'll work. <laughs> Very strange looking, but it's it should be okay. Let's go ahead and add like a mini spoilery bit on the back um, that goes over the edge. There we go, good. Go ahead and fill this in right here and fill this in right here. Excellent. Obviously, we got no windows that really fit it, but... It looks like a like a car, kind of. It works, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, what I want to do instead of these guys is I want to add these guys to here like this. I know it's off the end, um, but that's on purpose. So there we go. That seems good. Windows, let's go ahead and see if we can slot some of these in. Um, these guys are obviously going to go on the side like this. And then we're going to have to do the back ones, which is just going to be these guys, just like that. And then on the front, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Probably something like this. Although, actually, maybe we can fit some of these in. Oh, I don't know. Uh, right. Let's go with... I was going to say a flat window for now, but that's probably not a good idea. Um, actually, maybe this. Okay, so flat right there. And then maybe an actual... Hmm. I don't know. Let's bring this forwards. Uh, because we can. So we're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. Fill that in there. Then we can do this guy on the very front, and then we can do this on the sides, and yeah, that'll fit, maybe. Alright, windows, yes. How do I fix this in? I don't know. Uh, kind of have an idea of just using one of these, but obviously the slightly bigger ones, and putting it there. Oh no, it is that one. It is that one. There we go, and we'll put it here like this. Bit weird, bit random, but it looks like a car, so it works, I suppose. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill the back end in like uh, like that, I guess. Yep, cool. We're going to delete this guy because that's where the motors are going to go. We're going to be rear wheel drive. I think that's okay. We're going to go ahead and do this, do that. And yeah, we need a bit of a back end. We need a back end on this. So I'm actually going to delete those guys. I'm going to put that there like that. Slightly overhanging. I think that's okay. Uh, we're then going to build this on here. Grab another one of these. Go in slightly sideways. If possible. Yep. I kind of want it to go bigger than that, so let's do this. And then one of those. Going that way. Like this. Okay, excellent. Delete that bit. Actually, we can have that bit there. That's fine. Uh, we'll then extend this across the back end like so. Uh, we'll extend these guys upwards like this. And the base of the bed is going to go there. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, so now we can actually put things in the back. I guess. Alright, rope anchors is what we need next. So, we're going to need a rope anchor right there. 
I'm also going to actually add a an electric anchor thingamabobby, and I'm also going to add a hose. Now, you might be wondering why. Um, some of the vehicles that we might have to tow might not actually have a rope anchor. If they don't have a rope anchor, they might have an electricity anchor thingamabobby, so we can use that. And if they don't have an electricity anchor, they might have a hose anchor that we can use instead. So, that is, that is why I'm doing that. We're not going to have a back end, like a tailgate on this. I will have a back window though, because that would be cool. Let's go ahead and add a back window. And then we need to add doors, and then we could go from there. What do you guys think? God, it looks weird. <laughs> it looks strange. Uh, I kind of feel like the bonnet is, uh, is a bit weird. So let's go ahead and delete that to begin with. Um... And then make sure this looks nicer. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete that. Extend this across the top like so. Delete these guys. And I think we might actually have it like this instead. So like that. There we go. All the way to the edge. Sure, I think. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and smash this onto there. Go ahead and bring it downwards. Like this. And that can be our, our grill. Yeah, this can work. So we're not going to have an engine in this. Um, as, as you guys probably know. Also, the gear ratios and stuff, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I feel like it should be four-wheel drive, so we're going to make it four-wheel drive. We'll go ahead and do this, and yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so pipes. Let's get on with this, shall we? Here we go. Um, yeah, right, okay, one of these is going to go here like this. Okay. One of them is also going to go at the front uh, like that. There we go. We're going to extend this backwards, like so. We're going to extend this forwards, like so. And I think what I might do is add a cross section, one of these guys, in the middle. And then our motors can go on there. So motors, here we go. We're going to go ahead and whack those on directly under here. We're going to actually add, ah, oh, just that, that's fine. Then a gearbox on this side, two gearboxes on this side. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Here we go. So these are going to point towards the engine. Like so, twice. These are going to point towards the engine as well. Fantastic. And hopefully that'll work. Maybe. Yeah. Um, right. In the rear, we're going to add some seats too. Probably in the rear of here, actually. So let's do this across the back end. Do, do, do. Seats. Here we go. Hopefully they fit. I'm assuming they will. There we go. Fantastic. Do this in the middle. And then do that. There we go. Nice. So we have some seats in the rear. I need a door now. I do. I need a door. Uh, so we're going to delete that, and that, there we go, get ourselves a pivot, oh no, we don't have any pivots, oh, that's an issue, actually, alright, we're just going to leave this open then, we're going to leave that open for right now, okay, fantastic, no, maybe not, actually, yeah, oh, maybe, I don't know, we can actually leave it wide open, and have it like a, um, a safari car kind of thing, I guess, so there we go, we'll have it like a safari car, so we can get in and out of it, Kind of interesting. I think it works. Very nice. I guess. Alright, next thing we need to do is actually add rope and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Rope is going to go directly in the floor right here. There we go. We're going to do it like this. Then we're going to have these two be obviously like hoses. And also um, cables. There we go. Fantastic. Yes, just like that. Um, we need like a fire extinguisher and stuff on this as well. So let's grab one of those. Fire extinguisher. We're going to put that back here. There we go. Fantastic. On the other side, we're going to delete these guys and have some first aid kits. Yes, just like so. One, two, three. And what else do we actually need? Is there anything else that's like super duper important? Lights would be good. We do actually have some lights now. So we're going to go ahead and put those on the front. Just like that. And I want to build a grill into this. Do we have paint? Do we have paintable signs yet? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what we will do is add a crank to the front end, just like so. And then I think we'll just build all of this in like this. There you go. So we'll actually do it so it looks a bit like it has a grill, but obviously it doesn't. So there you go. All right, paint all of this in that color. Paint that in, paint that in. This and this, and this, and this, and then these guys, and these guys, and all of that. Woo, nice. Okay, fantastic. That's really good. Uh, we're going to paint that as well. Very nice. And then the rest of it is going to be red. We're going to have like a frantic red truck. Why not? Here we go. So the main body is going to be red. I'm not sure about everything else, but we'll see. Here we go. So red across there. 
There we go. I'm actually going to start juggling things. It'll be easier. Uh, on both sides, please. There we go. The sides are going to be red. Fantastic. Top of this, red. All the way down the sides. Inside of there. Fantastic. Uh, the top bit is actually going to be gray. So that might look better. Who knows? There we go. Gray up there. And the roof, I think, will actually be white. We'll see. That's going to go down there. It's going to go across here. All the way up there. That's fine. The interior of this as well is going to be gray. Because I feel like it should be. So there you go. That bit and that bit. And the dashboard is going to be gray too. So there we go. Dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. Seat. I guess the seat can be that color too. Yep, fine. We're going to do this and this. Fantastic. And then red there. Yeah. All right, nice. This could totally work. Uh, the flooring is just going to be gray. Some sort of gray. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, I love that. Uh, the rear bumper is going to be colored. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Fantastic. We're also going to drag the bottom of the car this color too, because I feel like it should be. And that is pretty awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's really good. Um, I'm also going to paint all of these gray as well, because I feel like they should be. I'm going to do that. All right. Awesome. Uh, and then actually all of this too. Pretty much all of the white needs to not be white, except the roof, but that's fine. I feel like we've done enough to um, to change this up. There we go. Paint all of that too. There we go. Fantastic. And I think the fenders themselves are also going to be grey. Maybe? I guess. Yeah, sure. The fenders themselves are going to be grey. Let's go with it. And to me, that's fine. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. That's okay. Do all of these in here as well. Do all of that. There we go. Good. Bit of the red's going to have to go. Bit of the red's going to have to go right here as well. Excellent. We're going to get rid of all this. Get rid of that. There we go. Those guys. These guys. And honestly, we're going to go ahead and do a grey bit across the bottom of here. To make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, excellent. We've got the clearance on the front. We've got the clearance on the back. Hopefully, we can jump up curbs and stuff like that and we'll be good. Uh, actually, let's make these slightly bigger. And they're going to be all round wheels. Okay, but they're going to be slightly bigger. Like this, and like that, and like this. There you go. So we're going to have to make the front one steerable. Which is okay. Um, yeah. So WNS is going to be forwards backwards, obviously. There you go. It's going to control those. Um, these guys are going to be geared up to the max. There we go. And there we go. And... There we go. And there we go. Okay, so they're all done. Hopefully we'll be able to tow with this. Maybe. Uh, so that's all good. And then we need steering. Like, this thing actually needs to steer. Unfortunately, though, steering in this game, um, they're both opposite to each other. How do I fix that? Okay, so we just invert the steering on one side. So inverter, let's go ahead and grab one of those. Oh, I can't because we don't have one. Okay, we can make it two-wheel drive for right now. Um, and then learn how to invert things. That sounds weird, but yes. Uh, it's kind of what we need to do. We can do it with a microcontroller. You guys are correct that, that have been saying that, but I don't want to use a microcontroller just to invert things. I don't know. It seems weird. All right, does it move? I, I don't have any batteries, actually, but it looks okay. I think it looks fine. So, yeah, we're going to need loads of batteries, like a million batteries. So let's go ahead and try and figure out where to put these. Um, the full front end is going to be built up of batteries, because that makes some sense. There we go. Um, okay, do this bit as well. There we go, good. Go ahead and do these guys on here. There we go, there we go. Do these guys just behind here as well. And honestly, the roof needs filling in too, so that bit. There we go, good. And then we need to do more. There needs to be so many more batteries, it's unbelievable. So the full floor is pretty much going to be batteries. Two, okay. One and two, and then this one, there, there we go. Okay, one, two, three, okay, there we go. One million batteries are going in. One million batteries are going in. Okay, so that's going to go there, that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. We're then going to do this guy, and actually delete the last ones. Go ahead and put a bit of a protector on them. Like this, there we go, and that should be fine. Okay, so now we need a battery dial somewhere inside of here. We also need a speedo, but we don't have one of those yet. So put the dial in, just like 
Okay. Okay. I can't put it there. That's so annoying. We're going to put it here. And this is going to be for the batteries. Yeah. Nice. We got so many batteries in here. Let's see what it looks like. Still works. That's cool. All right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to make it two-wheel drive for right now. Purely because uh, I, I'm too lazy to uh, make the microcontroller work. Is that the case? No. I actually want to use the things that we have to unlock. Because otherwise, what's the point in unlocking them, you know? So, uh, there we go. We got two, uh, two motors going into um, two gearboxes, which then go into two wheels at the rear. We're then going to have to fix these wheels at the front to make them steer properly, and then we'll be good to go from there. Okay? Okie dokie, guys. Is it going to work? Who knows? Ready? So, the steering is inverted. Let me go ahead and uh, swap that around, and then we should be good to go. This will be brilliant. Okie dokie, steering, let's, uh, I've got lights, let's check the steering, there we go, it works, and, uh, it drives, okay, so that's good, how much battery has it got, still a full one, excellent, off we go, brilliant, nice, okay, we're down to 99, that's okay, whereabouts are we going, so we need to send ourselves all the way down to here, uh, which is four kilometers away, can my truck do four kilometers, that is the question, I don't know, I don't know, I want to find out though, so let's go. Oh no, you know what? I forgot something. Uh, we, we need more seats, because at the minute we only have two. Uh, and uh, we also need to actually add a welder to this thing, because it doesn't currently have a welder. Hopefully we don't need that for this mission. I don't think we do. We're down to 0.94, and we are almost halfway there. So we're actually pretty efficient. This is good. This is very good. We're also very fast, so that's nice too. Look at all this gold that we're going past. Oh, wow, actually, this is a lot of gold. If we wanted to do gold, this is the place to come to. Okay, that's good. Uh, we are actually at the location where the thing is as well, so we've made it all the way here, and we've only used 13% battery. That is not an awful lot, to be honest. So we've done good. We've done really good. Hey, guys, I've come to save the day. I'm here to save you guys, but uh, I don't have enough seats for all of you, but hopefully that's fine. All right, I got a fire extinguisher. One second. Ah... Uh... There you go. There you go. All right. Your car's good. You zombies can come with me. Yep. You can come with me too. And you can come with me too. Okay. So the ones that are already damaged uh, can sit inside, which is you. You can sit in that seat. And you're damaged too. So you can go in that seat. Excellent. The rest of you, I'm sorry to say it, but you're going to have to stand on the back. Okay. This is going to be incredibly dangerous, but um, please don't fall off. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and floor it now. See you later. See you later, truck, car, thingamabobby, whatever you are. Wagon. Yeah, I guess you're a wagon. Okay, so now we're going to go from here upwards. Uh, we're going to travel up to uh, the hospital because that's where we need to go. Uh, hopefully, these guys will stay on the, s on the back. I'm sure they will. And the other thing that I did actually want to talk about is I might make a trailer for this truck for us to bring fuel back. Uh, from some of the gas stations that are dotted around, because the gas stations do actually have fuel at them uh, that we can take. So I might actually take some of the fuel from the gas stations, take it back to my base, and then go out from my base to find the refinery. I think that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. I would love to know what kind of speeds this thing is currently going. I would assume actually quite quick. Uh, it's not going slow at all. It is actually a pretty speedy boy. But it's also very controllable, which is nice. So when it comes to making it four-wheel drive, that will be awesome, actually. That'll make this thing really, really good. Um, and also just perform really well as well. So that's that's excellent. Uh, so we'll do that very soon. We also might actually add some more batteries too, because clearly um, we are still running out of charge. I mean, we'll run out of charge no matter how many batteries we have, but still. You know what I mean? Um, also, that thing on the front, the little crank... Um, I might actually change that, uh, so that we can actually generate power from it, just in case we do get, get stuck somewhere. We can just crank the power. That would be very good, to be fair. So, uh, we might do that. But yeah, I think we've done a pretty good, pretty good job with this. What town is this? I don't know what town this is. Uh, but there is a person sat outside. That's interesting. See ya. Uh, I think we need to take them to a safe zone. Obviously, I don't want to go to a safe zone. Wait, is that a safe zone? Oh, we could totally do that, actually. I should have done that on the way down. Never mind. Whatever. We can do that soon. Okie dokie, we're almost at the hospital. What we want to do before we get there is actually heal them up again. Like I said last time, that is a good thing to do. 
So we're going to heal up these guys, that one and this one. Make sure that they have full health before we drop them off. Also, side note, I need a handbrake. Uh, we, we don't have one, and I've got no way of fully stopping. So there you go. All right, come out, please. Come out, please. There we go. You. Just come out. There we go. And you. Come with me. Okay, you. Follow and follow. Let's go. In we go. 2,000, 2,000. Oh, almost 2,000 for both of those guys. All right, fantastic. That bit needs painting, and um, that'd be excellent. But then once you've done that, we're good. All right, let's return back to our base. Mission complete. That was so successful. That was so successful. How awesome. It's just a bit weird that uh, it's obviously silent. That is, that is actually a very, very strange thing. But honestly, we've done really well here. Everything has gone really nicely. Uh, the truck itself works very well. Uh, and that's awesome. I think what we'll do in the next video is actually build a trailer for this so that we can tow it over to the fuel stations and, um, yeah, unlock that. Actually, the other thing that we can do as well is unlock an inverter. Uh, I believe. Basic logic. Inverter should be here. Uh, numerical inverter. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and unlock that. And honestly, this should be really good because then we can have four-wheel drive. And that'll be awesome. I might also add some more batteries to the back. Because, as you guys can see, its stance is a bit like that at the moment. And I don't really like that. So, yeah, we'll probably change it. But honestly, this is very cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see me build a fuel tank next time... Oh, no, we need... We don't necessarily need the, uh, the, the fuel thing, the fluid management. But we should, if we're going to build one of those. So we might actually do another mission before we do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. A casualty has died.